All right, guys, today we're out at the local farmer's market for a socialization distraction work training session. One of the things, uh, before we get started here, a couple of things to pay attention to, equipment layout. Tucker's towards the uh, tail end of his training progression, so I've got his leash in my left leg. I've got his remote collar in my right hand. I'll be swapping the leash between my left and right hands as needed. I've got a bait bag with food rewards right here on my left hip. And uh, so the focus right now is maintaining calm, confident, relaxed mindset with Tucker. And if we can maintain a calm, confident, relaxed mindset, he will too as we go through this. Now, a couple things to pay attention to. We're looking at his body language. He's got his tail held straight up, which is often a sign of confidence and uh, dominance feeling, okay? We got his ears neutral and uh, sometimes a little bit pulled back and sometimes a little bit forward. So if he's putting his ears forward in general, that could mean that he's uh, a little bit interested in something. If he's got his ears pulled back, in general, that could mean uh, you know that he's submitting uh, to me at the time being. Now, if you look up ahead of me, we got kind of like a red flag scenario. We got this dog in this teal harness and it's pulling pretty intensely at other dogs that are passing by. So I'm just gonna give that dog a little bit of a berth as I go. And then if Tucker is leaving my position, I'm just gonna say no, give him a little bump on the remote collar to let him know to stay up close to me and in proper heel position. So as you're going through an environment like this, you are gonna be paying attention to the things that are going on around you. And uh, you do wanna maintain a loose leash. So up ahead here, we got this dog on a purple harness, kind of pulling towards other dogs, things like that. So as you steer through the crowd, you just wanna pay attention to that and maybe modify the way you're walking uh, and make sure that you're holding that dog accountable to certain positions as you go through things like that with the dog, okay? So on the left here, we got this Boston Terrier. Okay, he's pretty uh, amped up, but his owners have pretty good control of him, not letting him go all over the place. So again, as you finagle a crowd like this, you're paying attention to these types of things, but you're also keeping your dog in very good position in relation to you and if your dog departs position you're going to say no you're going to hold them accountable for departing position okay now i'm swapping my leash over to my right hand right now because what i want to do is reward tucker for some eye contact up here we like to incorporate that throughout our sessions okay um, and so what i'll do is i'll kind of look for a somewhat shaded spot up ahead on my path so i see one coming up and then what I'll do once I get to that shaded spot is I'll have him sit real quick. And then for him sitting and looking at me, I'll go ahead and give him a reward for that, okay? So right here, slow down and stop. Good, he sits, he looks right up at me. I can reward him. We got stuff going on around us, okay? I just moved my position a little bit. He's still looking at me. I can reward him for that. I changed my position in relation to him again. Good, as long as he maintains eye contact and good sit position, then we can continue to reward him for that. Okay, we'll start walking again, Tucker heel. So that's something that you could incorporate in uh, one of your sessions like this. Another thing too, if we're walking and he's uh, staying in good position in relation to me, I can say good, I can reward him down here just like that as we go. And what that does is it's just reinforcing position and it's reinforcing him giving me good eye contact as we go. We have this dog right here I'm paying attention to, but the owner's leash is gonna keep that dog in relatively good position with that owner and not coming out at me. So lots of dogs to walk by. Tucker's doing a good job maintaining good position. Again, if he ever left position, I would say no, and I'd give him a correction for that so that he knows no matter what's going on around you that he has to maintain good position in relation to you. Okay, so that is an example of a socialization and distraction work session. Hopefully you guys took some tips, tricks, and pointers away from that that you can use with your own dog. Tucker, sit. Good. Again, uh, hold your dog accountable to your expectations no matter what's going on around you. That's going to build up the uh, expectation to maintain those positions as you go forward in different situations reward good eye contact and keep your sessions fun and entertaining for you and your dog and have a good time, have a good bonding process, all right? We'll see you guys next time.